Um, I'm Linda Schuyler, and uh, for 35 years I have had the pleasure of being the executive producer of All Things Degrassi. Degrassi really was an outgrowth of my interest in young people and teenagers that I had been nurturing for eight years in my role as a classroom teacher at junior high. A light bulb went on one day and I thought, you know what? I'd like to tell those stories, those stories that are specific to the teenage experience. I don't think we knew that Degrassi was going to be what it turned out to be. I think we thought we had a really cool summer job. So you're a teacher at Degrassi? When I shot the first Degrassi in 1979... Are you going to make a movie, Ida? Am I? If anybody could have told me then that that show, Ida Makes a Movie, would have been the very first episode of a 35-year-old franchise, I would have been floored. You got me pregnant! You could have kept your stupid mouth shut! I'm trying to help you! I don't need your help! The teenage experience is a marvelous one. It's a dramatic one because you've got one foot in childhood and one foot in adulthood and everything matters, everything is intense. We want to reassure young people that they are not alone, to celebrate diversity of all forms. We're fearless in terms of the topics and the storytelling that we will take on. Because why? Because I'm gay. Our feeling is if kids are talking about it in the schoolyard, if they're talking about it in the mall, we should be talking about it on Degrassi. It's so relatable, it's like real life stuff that's happening at my school. I'm very proud of the shows that we produce. I'm very proud of the stories we tell and the boundaries that we break. We've had great successes with people going on and with acting and singing careers. If any of us knew the recipe for creating a show that has lasted as long as Degrassi has, we would bottle it and sell it to other producers. Even though we're approaching our 500th episode, the show is still fresh and alive and relevant. I think that there was always going to be that need for young people to want to see their stories being told really being told. I feel incredibly blessed to have had 35 years of my life that I can dedicate to telling stories for young people who I adore and it's my pleasure. Yeah.